Okay, we are back. And Michelle is obsessed with the paint, so she started you there. Uh, bring them over here. We're going to do a brief little fucking tutorial here on how I like the wet sand. I mean, you think wet sanding, just throw some water in the bucket and call it good. That's pretty much it, but I like to throw a little lubrication in there too. Not much. Just a little Dawn or something comparable. I'm sure all those other little bullshit brands work too, but... And I always like to use some relatively hot, warm water. It cools off pretty quick, so... I don't really... I guess there is a point where it's too hot, but... That will be sufficient. We're just going to get started on it. I've already started the car. Um, you can probably walk around the back and show them. We've actually shot this video a couple minutes ago, but my foul mouth decided we should probably reshoot it. <laughs> so anyway, here's what it looks like being a mess. Uh, just needs to be washed off and as you can see I didn't sand it all the way down I just slightly sanded it so it's good enough for me to touch up stripes and throw another gallon of clear on here um, I got pretty much both quarter panels I just worked my way out and back I had a couple sags so I wanted to start in the back where the runs were I got those knocked out came brought my way up the fucking front you see right here we still have a slight sag right here because I had it fucking running off the edge. I shot that motherfucker heavy. Anyway, there's the foul mouth again. Uh, so I still have to tighten that up. But let's just bring you up here and show you a little, a little bit of how I do. Um, like I say, a lot of guys are doing this with DAs and which, whatnot, which is acceptable. But I just like to get a little bit more personal with the shit I'm painting. Um, and most of the time you'd like to try to go at a 45 degree angle. And I'm using 500 grit paper here. Um, and just like I say, there's, let's see here. We have these, which there's a bunch of different kinds of blocks you can use. You can see that these are separate, a bunch of small little blocks. Or they have full length ones for long, long boarding, so to speak. But I still like to use my older, bigger equipment. I don't even know where the hell my long board is. It's over there. Anyway, um, 500 grips, good for this just because it's getting shot again. If it was something that you were going to wet sand and buff out, which you probably could sand some of these tape lines out. But I just don't want to sand it that heavy yet. And I don't, still don't feel like I want to hit these just yet um, so I'm gonna bury it under a couple more gallons of clear before I do any more tight tough sanding on this but that should make everything come together lovely um, yeah so we'll just go over this real quick like and once you get experienced at this you're gonna know by the sound and the feel of it where you're at but sometimes I mean, some people might have to come back and hit some areas twice, and I still do at my, at my old experience here, and I've been doing this for decades. I haven't done a low rider paint job like this for a few years, though. I guess I forgot about that one I did about four or five years ago. I was thinking it's been about a decade, but I did do one about four or five years ago. And he never ever brings the fucking car out, but supposedly things changed in his job, um, and some t guys like to put tapes on all their edges and all their fucking seams or whatnot just to keep from sanding them, but like I say, I've done this a few times, so I kind of just know where I'm at. It could be a bad habit, maybe not. Um, but it works for me so we are not going to go very far at this we are just going to do a little bit there's many ways you can keep it moist you always want to keep it wet though you can have a little squirt bottle spray bottle garden hose with the fucking spray nozzle on it or just a rag like i do 
just periodically clean your sanding block off make sure it's not getting all loaded up and then um, periodically get everything re-wet like I say you've got the soap in there to keep it moist and lubricated and fucking flowing smooth sometimes it'll hang up if you're working with just water it's not terrible it just slows you down And my thing's always just been speed. Um, most of the time, I don't like to paint people's cars, but I do once in a while. And uh, when I do, I don't keep their car forever. I have it for a month or whatever, and then that's it. We'll get their car painted and get it back to them, and it's done. It's not something I want to sit and fuck with. Um, not something I want to sit and fuck with for months. But as a painter, um, I would say a painting contractor, I have a different option. Uh, guys that paint cars for a living, they have to take on so much work to make that money to pay the bills, and it's hard to bust through things. You have to make equal progress on everything, yada yada. Things just don't go that smooth. So, I mean, if you have to pay somebody to do it, and you know somebody that can do it but doesn't do it eight hours a day for a living and as a well motivated guy maybe try him um, not everybody will have that work ethic though some guys will hold on to your fucking car for six months i just don't believe in that shit okay so you guys get the idea and i mean you can See what it sounds like when it starts. It doesn't take long to knock that off. Now I'm just lightly dragging this off. We're not going at a angle or anything. Just to show you. But you see how quick it goes away. So we'll hit up here again. It starts getting smoother sounding. It goes from that to smoothing out. Say you can hear, you can feel where you're at. So just have to be patient with it. And you'll knock it out. But there it is. That's how I do my wet sanding. Um, I'm not going to make it too miserable for you. We do have one color change we want to do to this. And I believe we'll just surprise you guys and catch up with us later. Um, so like, share, subscribe. And I'll get back to you guys when I do a little bit more. I need to stop being lazy on this shitty weather or not. It's time to knock it out. I've walked around it. I guess we didn't talk about that this time. I do not like the peanut butter top on here at the moment. So, yeah. Just go ahead and walk around. I mean, it's not terrible. It's dirty because I just wiped a wet rag or a dirty rag on it and shit. And me and the interior guy were poking at the foam you see how impressionable that is until you get it wet and then it goes away but it's just I uh, fucking love the whole thing it's coming off can i poke yeah it's just touching it it doesn't take much stop to, it to, it's not ruining it it'll come back when i get it wet it will yeah isn't this what you have to have on there when you get your new one uh, it'll be something like that but he's gonna use higher quality so, so it won't poke? Yeah. It'll push, and, but yeah, not poke? It won't do that. Thank God. It'll pop right back. Um, <clears throat> so I did have my guy, um, like I say, I do most of my shit and interior work and all that myself, but I don't do any fucking sewing. You can order these tops pre-made and whatnot. I don't know how what the availability of them is, but they used to be just order a fucking top and stretch it out over the car for the day and then glue it on the motherfucker. But we're doing something a little custom, more custom than that. So I had him come up measure it. We fucking uh, have to wait for materials and we have to wait for a few days for him to get time. So we're a couple, I don't know, three, four weeks out on that. But we have a schedule again, so we need to get this motherfucker done. It's just been, weather's been shitty, so it's been the back of my mind. The last thing I'm worried about is finishing this. But we need to get it fucking knocked out, hammered out, so you guys can see the finished product. 
and we can get it done and out of our hair. We have a bunch of shit to do to it to get it out on the streets yet. Uh, we are not going to put hydraulics in it. And this thing is for sale. So if you feel like you have to have this in your garage more than mine, go ahead and get at your boy. But in the meantime, like, share, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll make some progress on this here piece of shit. And I will see you guys later. Weasel!